Alright, welcome back to another build and mod review uh, from Medieval Engineers. Uh, today we're looking at another world, and then we're going to uh, see if we can't look at some uh, workshop builds inside the world. So this world is called Dorf Garfinstein. I think I said that wrong. I can't. I, I didn't pronounce it right, but it's by Leander Hyde zero eight one five one, and it comes with, as far as I can tell, so far anyway, uh, one building uh, inside the world. Uh, it's this nice. It's a nifty little fort, actually. I kind of in, uh, enjoy it. It's simplistic, uh, but the idea behind it actually works really good. Um, up high with good view of the surrounding area. Um, using this as like a center point for your base uh, would definitely work out really good. There's not a whole lot of features on the inside. Uh, if we go and if I miss the wall, that works too. Over here, uh, a bunch of mortar holes to drop stuff down on people uh, when they're trying to storm your castle. Uh, it's got a wraparound, pretty wide wall. I think that's two blocks. Yeah, that's two blocks wide. Uh, come in here. You got an outlook over here. Uh, and then another one mirroring on that side. A little bit of lag. Lovely. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's actually a really nice view from up here. I do like this. Uh, and then one thing that I really liked with this design, though, was he used some of the palisade walls. Uh, in putting uh, sort of an aesthetic purpose, or not purpose, uh, a look on it, I think, is what I'm looking for, going for. Uh, if we go up the center tower here, the center staircase, uh, we get the topmost lookout, which this is a wraparound for the entire uh, area. You go around here, you can see over there. Over here, see over there, and so on and so forth. Yeah, uh, then and on all again, this is a, a nice little build, a uh, nice little building. Um, the main purpose for this being a world, though, I think, is not so much this here, but this, the water. And so if we look at the map here, uh, where are we? We're in the kingdom of Bar Habar Hadar Hadur Bar Hadar. I said it wrong. Probably someone's gonna correct me on it. Lovely. Um, but we're just on the side of this little lake here. But if we go over to Levos, no, Rintel, we've got this big ocean here with a couple of islands, and I think we might go check to see what that is. I didn't get a chance to actually go look at that one. Just in the middle of the ocean. That'll be interesting. We go down here, we got the South Pole, we got North Pole, uh, just uh, pretty good. I think that the map, the map was the main reason uh, for the world. And then this is just sort of like a starting point for everybody. So if you put this, like if you want to use this as a server for you and your friends, I'd probably recommend um, building off of this a bit. Uh, I'm not sure where you would put the gate or something like that. Maybe build into the hillside here. Let's see. I'm trying to see if there's something behind it. Nope, that's just stone wall. Uh, or stone bricks. But this side doesn't have it. Interesting. Anyway, um, just uh, using, maybe just putting like, uh, like over here, putting the gate here, or uh, the door, main doors, and just building like a walkway down the side here to a little village on the beach, maybe. I thought I had put non-hostile AIs. Oh well, they won't bother me. But that is a cool feature. I don't know if you guys heard that, but it actually does the waves crashing on the beach sound. So that is cool. All right, so then the other part, and 
there is a bunch of mods. I don't have them all remembered. Um, but if we look here, uh, where'd you go? We've got a fishing net and we've got blue whales. So somewhere there is a blue whale. I don't know exactly where, but there is one. We've got sails, uh, controllable drum. There's actually oarsmen that you can uh, do, put on like for your boats and things. And I will be doing one or two boats, not a whole lot of them, because uh, I still haven't figured out how to control them yet. I'm working on that one still. Um, let's see, where is... These ones I don't remember being in the base game. Hoarding walls full, hoarding walls diagonal, hoarding walls open, walls full. These, for those of you who don't know, these go, uh, if I remember correctly from what little information I have, these would go on the outside of the castle walls towards the top of the battlements uh, during times of siege. Uh, just sort of like an extra protection for defenders. Uh, and I believe that's what was up top. If we look up here. Yeah, this section here. These. So sometimes the castles would have them permanent and they would just be hanging off the side of the battlements. Um, this section here. Not, that, not the section that was already hanging off. Just something like this. Uh, just so it gave uh, an extra bit of view for archers and something a little extra to drop off uh, munitions or oil, burning oil, things like that for defenders. Something like this, but it was uh, like a, a last minute, last line of defense type thing to help uh, defenders get that extra, last little extra bit of uh, defense. All right, so now we are going to check out uh, a boat. Let's see if I can bring this up. All right, so hitting F10, you go to your blueprints. So these are the blueprints that I have, uh, both official and subscribed. Um, let's see here. We'll start with the cargo ship. Did I have that other one? I don't have the other one. That's weird. All right. But uh, what's the problem with it? Uh, one version old may still load, but it might have problems. So be careful with this one. But we're going to load this up and we're going to check it out. Now, something that would be kind of cool uh, is if you could put these on wheels. Let's put this right there. And there we go. We have a boat. And see, there is a wind effect, so it is moving along by itself. And uh, if I don't do anything, it's going to continually go in a circle uh, because of that rudder in the back. So let's go. Oh, sh Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can do this. So, pull the rudder. Not moving at all. All right. Uh, but yeah, this is a little small cargo ship. If we crouch down, we've got our bed. We got a couple of barrels, weapon racks. So, nothing fancy. Uh, let's see. Small chest, a couple of barrels, a little place to come up here. Four castle, I believe this was called. Somebody correct me. I'm going to get a, I'm going to botch up an entire name all the names for these ships. But uh, let's see. Grab on. No, that's not what I want. How do I grab onto this? Huh, I don't know. But yeah, this is the small cargo ship. Uh, let's see, right click. Whoa, nope, that's not good. Tipping over. Rebalance, rebalance. 
All right. So as you can see, the physics for the ships uh, from the game still affects uh, is still affected uh, with this mod, with this little boat here. So again, I personally uh, do not have everything set the way it's supposed to. Like, I don't know exactly how to unfurl this and uh, roll it back up or anything like that. But for those of you that spend a little bit more time wanting to mess around with it, uh, all hats off to you and have fun with it. All right, now there was another one. No, nope, that's not the one I wanted. That's the one I wanted that I thought I had. I guess I didn't. Because there was another boat that I thought I had subscribed to. Let's see if it'll load the blueprints. All right. I'm not sure what's going on, but I did a new world. Uh, loaded up all of the mods that I have and tried to get it to work. And for whatever reason, um, it's not showing up. So if I go to subscribed, these are all the builds that I've subscribed to. Uh, it's called the 106 gun first rate final. And I do not have the name with me, but I will put that in the description below. Uh, and from the pictures, it looks to be pretty good. It was uh, supposedly uh, an accidental, well, not accidental. Um, I don't think he, the creator meant to, was his original idea. I don't think it was meant, to, he hadn't meant for it to be originally uploaded to the workshop, but he figured, oh, what the heck, or something like that. Um, at least that from the description, that's what it looked like. Uh, so, yeah, it's called the 106 gun first rate. And either I'm missing something that I don't know about, or it's just not liking the game or something. But this one said it was old, but should still work. But we're going to go to this one instead. Uh, this is called the Shipbuilding Structure. Uh, it's by Wolfgar7474. Uh, basically to help you, well, build your ships. So we're going to go find a spot to place this and take a look at this. Uh, we're going to spin this around. I want to put it so like it's actually if whenever somebody like builds the boat it actually will go into the water. So we're going to go like I'm trying to make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be because there's stairs in the back too. That should work. We'll see how much of it collapses. Nope, there it goes. Hold on. Okay, so it didn't collapse as much as I thought it would, but you can see right there the stairs where it starts to collapse down to the foundation. I hadn't realized that this wasn't actually in the ground. So, yeah, you see that? it's None of it's touching. So I'm going to replace this. Uh, where'd you go? Subscribed. There you are. And place blueprint. So I'm not going to worry so much about... Nope, that's too far. There. Dang it! I thought I fixed it, but I guess I didn't. Oh, I put it on that hillside. Doggone it. All right, well, we'll take a look at it real quick here. So, let's see. Got a little staircase to walk up uh, from the back here. Just be extra careful when you're putting it together yourself. Uh, we've got rollers here. 
Uh, so we can push the ship forward or pull the ship as needed. Um, and then extra rollers to move it along to the water. Now this was originally built uh, in a landlocked area. So uh, you would need to place this like here near the water uh, and places like that. It's a good little design, I like it. Now there is another thing I wanted to look. I put, I know I put it in here. Let's see if I can find it. Um, hmm, weird. Nope. Hmm. Well, there was a mod for a spyglass, but apparently it's not here. Ooh, shipbuilding. Okay, so there's that mod. Wall mount for fish or anything you want, sounds good. Hollow box, great for adding buoyancy to your boat. Okay, sounds good. Anchors, all right. Okay, so this was civil. Let's go economic. Ownership. Nothing new. Uh, nope. Okay, military. Show tree. Palisades. Metalworking. Path of war. Nope. Hoardings. Mechanic. Military stonework. What's this? Uh, it's rope release. Okay. Advanced weapons. Supply cart. Nope. Ha. Huh. So I will have to look into that. Um, if I put down... Maybe it's... Hold on. Okay, that is weird. I know for a fact I turn off hostile AI. But, oh well. Uh, we're going to go small blocks, and we're going to go... Where is... Do, 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 do. Drafting table, blueprint... Ah, crafting table. Whoops. Oh well. Let's take a look here. Uh, F. What I'm trying to see if it's actually in here. Because I know some things won't show up on the um, uh, your list, but it shows up in this. Uh, let's see, smithy, forge. Let's take a forge. F. I'm just trying to think of where it would be, because I don't know where it would be. Hmm. That'll have to be another video then, uh, because another one of the mods uh, introduces, I think it's cosmetic only, uh, armor for different parts of your body. Um, it's the Recore mod or something of that nature. Uh, but it it basically allows you to uh, create pieces of armor uh, to, well, give you the look of an actual knight uh, and that sort of thing. Smithy. That's the basic one, but let's give it a shot anyway. Remember the first time I placed one of these, I uh, placed it too far into the ground. And then I couldn't find it ever again. Because all that was sticking out was the little anvil. Yeah, nothing. Huh. Alright. Well... 
that'll have to do it for today. A world that has a pretty good sized ocean. Uh, we looked at a cargo ship. Oh, for, there we go. Looked at a cargo ship earlier. Um, and uh, looked at a shipbuilding uh, unit to build whatever ships you want in the water. Although I do... Let's actually look at one more. Where is it? Shipyard. Let's put this down and check this out real quick. So this actually is the thing that's needed. Well, all right, fine. We'll do it this way. There. Nine. There. Maybe. There. That's what I'm doing to it right now. There we go. Uh, we'll take that away. Okay. And then nine. So this little block right here, this little unit is the shipyard. And this is what you need in order to build uh, any of the ship parts that we saw. So if we access inventory, Anchor, black, large sail, medium sail, capture a slave oarsman, missing the resources. Uh, let's see. Must row, crafting resource, crafting results. Food to work, place food inside a wooden crate. Food consumption, 100 food less. So you would actually need um, food to actually do all this. Uh, craft a fishing net. Basic ropes and linseed oil. What do I need? Oh, I need an actual dish to make that guy. That's cool. Uh, oarsman control. Slaver's whip. That's for this guy. Give oarsman extra training. Uh, needs work. Based on rowing speed. Control horn. So you don't need the whip with the extra training. Um, rudder. Train an oarsman. I don't know which one would be uh, better. Large white sail, sails, wind vane. It's basically telling you which direction to go. Uh, small bronze bell. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, that means it doesn't work? Oh. Well. Rope ladder. This is the one I was trying to call. Uh, trying to climb up on the small cargo boat, but it wasn't working for whatever reason. I think I just wasn't using it correctly. All right. So yeah, that should do it. This enables you to build the boat or to get the pieces to build the boat. And this uh, will help you actually put it together if you place it down where it's supposed to be. Um, I think I needed to place it down a little bit. Yeah, I need to place it down a lot further. But yeah, again, with like with any build, just make sure that you're putting the foundations where it's supposed to be um, and everything will be fine and dandy. Let's go up away from all this stuff. I think it's going to be good. So yeah. And I actually do like this world. Um, I think, well, it's either this one or the fire and ice one that I might end up using. Oh, shoot. I was going to go check out that one thing. I almost forgot. Uh, here? Levos? No. Rintel. Yes. Let's go look at this. Oh. And we're going to go Alt-11, right? Or Alt-F10. There we go. Enable Creative, Sun, and there we go. Okay, so what is this? It's cool that it has you float up though. I like that about the water. So if you fall in off your boat. So 
Nothing? Nothing. Just this little desert island in the middle of nowhere. Put one single palm tree on there and you've got the perfect little spot to just drop people off. <laughs> Oh, I don't... Can I do that? Oh, I want to see if I can do this. Uh, let's see. Sphere, sure. Alright, so we're going to go 9. We're going to go F. Nope, that's not what I want. I want brackets. Change the material. Uh... Woods. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Well, actually, I do need to make this a bit bigger. There. Oh, it's not going to put a tree on there for me. Although, wait a minute, what the heck am I thinking? Duh. There we go. Palm tree. Obviously, it's not going to be a while for it to be full grown, but just the idea of this. Oh, that's great. Oh, that is hilarious. <laughs> Create a little desert island in the middle of nowhere. So, I mean, you look at this. It's literally this space here. There's nothing else. This closest thing is actually got a little palm tree area, but like these, this is the closest area. And this is one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine blocks away, nine uh, chunks away. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. But yeah, all right. If you ever get into this world, uh, again, it's called the Dorf Gronfinstein. I said it wrong. Uh, by Linderheide08151. Uh, looking at the map. Sorry from that little spot there. Uh, fairly decent spread on everything, uh, if I do say so myself. I like it. Uh, definitely will be using it at some point in a build. Or just a world. Because this, this is, I don't know if this is really supposed to be anything, but that's, that's cool. Because there's nothing else here, and you can't go down in the water. Oh! Oh, I think I know. Maybe. There's a cavern down here. This used to be... This was a desert. Oh, in the... um. Oh, what is it? In the vanilla game, this whole area, I think, is a desert. And somewhere down here is a, um, oh, is a little cavern. I don't know if you can see it, but they're like, you can see the little tunnel spaces down there. And inside one of those tunnel spaces is a, is a, one of those king statues. That's why this is there. Cause somewhere inside one of those tunnels, uh, is the, is that king statue that you can only get from finding the statue. Uh, that's the only way you can get the recipe for the uh, king statues. You have to actually go into the world and find one. And it's usually at one of these locations that has the question mark. So if we go, this is a completely off topic thing. But if we go over here, let's see if we can find it. Load up for me. And why did it, Alt F10. Oh, I was on the other side of the world. That's why. Oh. Well, 
Oh, there we go. Okay. So let's see. See if it'll show it or if it's buried. I don't think it's going to show me. I keep bypassing it. It's like right here. Yeah. Hmm. All right, let's. That didn't work. Uh, let's see another one. This is a standard one. This should still be here. Maybe, if it loads up for me. Let's get away from this so I don't get loaded up in the chunks. There you are. Let's wait for this to load in. So, just have to clear some of this away. Let's actually make this bigger. Where'd you go? Whoops. Oh well. Uh, let's see. There was... Uh... Alright. Be right back. Alright. So, I basically topped the mountain and Swiss cheese the rest of it. So I'm not exactly sure where it is, but if we go blank scrolls, yeah. Supposedly, uh, if you look at the research part, if you like, you go to G, you go to your large uh, parts here. Look at the statue, research from scroll frowned in treasure chest. Uh, double click to add the components, required components to the character's inventory, all that other stuff. So it should be like one of these question marks that you find on the map in the vanilla world, or even uh, I guess in the modded one now, um, you find it, uh, the treasure map to do so. Uh, you'll also find this pillar, the obelisk, and you'll also find this really cool uh, holy bright brazier. Uh, let's see here. I have to learn more. It's the credits. So yeah, basically you would find one of these uh, in some of them and it's the credits for who have developed the game. Well, the people who've made this game, uh, it's pretty cool. And I cracked the foundation of this place when I was Swiss cheesing the mountain. Um, but yeah, that's one of these question marks that you would find that uh, King statue, you can't research it through uh, these, the civil and economic or military. It won't let you do that. All right. A lot, oop, there we go. A lot off topic, but uh, next time I will have a few more builds for you guys to check out. See you around.